A backyard pond can be a beautiful addition to any garden, but keeping the water clear and healthy for fish and plants can be challenging. That's where a bog filter comes in. A bog filter is a natural filtration system that uses plants to remove excess nutrients and impurities from pond water. It's an eco-friendly and cost-effective way to maintain a healthy and balanced aquatic ecosystem. Here's how a bog filter works. Water from the pond is pumped into a bed of gravel where it flows through the porous rocks and the roots of aquatic plants. The water is purified by beneficial bacteria that break down organic matter and other pollutants. Then the water is taken up by the roots of the plants which use the nutrients to grow. The plants in a bog filter are specially chosen for their ability to absorb nutrients and filter the water. Common plants used in bog filters include cattails, rushes, mint and bog bean. As the water flows through the gravel and plants it is gradually purified and returned to the pond. The result is crystal clear water that's free from harmful pollutants and algae. A bog filter is a low maintenance and natural way to keep your pond healthy and beautiful. So if you're looking for an eco-friendly and cost-effective filtration system, consider installing a bog filter in your backyard pond. Follow us in this series and we'll take you through the steps on how we built this bog filter. We built our box with 2x10s and we decided on dimensions of 8 foot 6 inches wide by 21 inches deep and 19 inches tall. And this utilized the lumber that we had on hand. We chose 8 foot 6 as that was the distance to the outside edge of the two existing posts that we were trying to match up that you'll see later in our installation section. To start with we cut out the sides and needed four of those at 8 foot 6 inches each. You can choose whatever dimension you want for your bog filter, however you have to keep in mind that if you go too long you may need intermediate supports to prevent the side walls from bowing out under the weight of the rocks and the water. The ideal size for your bog filter if it's your only source of filtration should be between 25 to 30 percent of the surface area of your pond. Next we're cutting out our ends and bottoms. We needed four ends at 18 inches and 11 bottoms at 15 inches. To create the vertical sides, we joined two 2x10s together with pocket screws. We chose this method to eliminate visible fasteners on the outside of the box. If you don't have access to pocket screws, you can also use biscuits and glue to connect the 2x10s together. We also used 2x2 two two cleats on the inside. This allowed us to connect the ends and the bottoms without any visible screw heads from the outside. To prepare for the plumbing and the installation of the bulkhead fittings, we had to route out recesses as the throughout on the bulkhead fittings were not long enough to go all the way through a 2x10. We created a simple jig template to help create those recesses.
Once we finished with the router, we cored out the center with a hole saw. We wanted to keep the recess as tight as possible to the fitting. Because of this, a normal wrench wasn't going to fit. So we had to design and 3D print a custom wrench for this purpose. We sanded all the exterior surfaces and rounded over the interior cleats and all the edges with a quarter round over bit. This just softened all the edges and protects the liner from any kind of abrasions when we install it. We moved the box to its final location and screwed the bottom in place. We finished the box off with a coat of wood preserve. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe so you won't miss our next episode where we walk you through the process of preparing the plumbing.